you want me to like slap you about there? Come on, guys. I'm gonna get right in my bag. Why you gonna try to get mad? Everybody wanna keep. They even got some deep heat in here. I'm gonna get faster, mate. Do you know what, right? If anything happens now, this is not what you want, right? Okay, welcome to SW7 YouTube again, and today we've got our first female guest, Madeline Connolly. Madeline is in the 55 kilo category, number one in Wales, number two in Britain, off to the Commonwealth Champs and the European Championship later this year. So she's fitless in during her busy schedule. She's going to take Sam Gaston through a power clean technique. His PB at the moment is 100 kilo. He did it ages ago with terrible techniques. We're going to see if Madeline can improve Gassy's clean. Let's see what happens. Right in my bed. Uh, why you gonna try to get mad? Uh, everybody do you normally start with mobility? Do you do prehab work or do you kind of go into lifts or warm ups? Uh, How's yeah. your warm up? So I would normally just go on a machine, warm up a little bit, then we'll stretch, then we'll go through a bit of a barbell warm up and then. Cool, all right. So we're just going to do 10 squats and we're going to do five wind walkouts, okay? So literally, you're going to walk it all the way out, you're going to press up, walk it back in, and then stand it up with your 10 squats after, okay? <laughs> train to Maddie normally. What do I train to? What would be your like go to gym tunes? Do you know what? It depends on the day, but I'm quite I quite like my country. Hey, I we're loving country at the minute. Unless it's like a really heavy session, then I'm like, right, we need to put something a bit more. Go on then, what do you listen to? What would be like proper like need to like lift a PB? Do you want anything with just a bit of like effing and jeffing in? What like <laughs> hip, hip hop metal? What just rap, like rap. just yeah, yes, that's cool. Proper, like... You're on you're, yeah, you're on the <laughs> same wavelength like... as us, which is good. <laughs> So yeah, what is your, what would your body, what is body weight now, what was that? Uh, so, I'm actually lighter than me, I'm like 53. And what would you, what are your main lifts, max, what, 1RMs? So, I split jerk 105, I clean 100, clean and jerk 98, we're aiming for that 100, and then I snatch 80. So you're looking at like two, what about squat? Uh, back squat probably about 120. My front squat and back squat aren't that different. Front squat would probably be more of a higher priority for you then, wouldn't it? Yeah, with catching especially and stuff. with the cleans and coming out of it. So yeah. I think a front squat about, I want to say about 115 now. Like Shit, small. that's like, what was your weight again? <laughs> 53. So that's over double body weight front squat. Yeah. That's me front squatting 210, 215. <laughs> <laughs> that's Good. wild. That's wild. Into floor. What's your, what's your main niggles now you have to watch out for? Uh, my back, actually. Let me Low know. back? Yeah, just like, but mainly because of my hips. Because I've had a hip hop before. Have you? Yeah, so it's just like my hip and then back and everything. Just yeah, like, yeah, you just like you're it. lifting five times a week and you're literally, it's the same movement. Clean, yeah. snatch, squat, clean. Like, it's constantly, like your percentages are always like 70% and above. So all the way down, all the way up, okay? Once you've done, you're going to do five hang cleans, but muscle. So basically, you lock your legs straight out, yeah? So you're going to go from a hang, you're going to go there, pop your hips through, elbows up nice and fast, okay? Then you're going to do five just front squats, okay? We'll do that for two rounds, okay? But you can rest in between. But on that muscle clean, just go from a hang, but then literally just snap your legs up, elbows through nice and fast, okay? This is a good start. I was going to say, how yeah. do you look in the ER? Nice to <laughs> yeah, so literally, just from a hang, hang, elbows up nice and fast. Good. Purchase your tracks today. Do now, you're going to do one from, just from the shins, you're going to do one power clean, so catch it in a power, and then you're going to bring it back down, and then you're going to go into your one squat clean, okay? The idea of this is to basically see the difference between both, but when people squat clean, they almost change their technique completely, because they think about, they basically go, oh shit, i got to get under the bar now, and then they rush it and just try and get under. But when you power, because you've got to catch it high, a lot of the time people do 
finish that extension. So you finish that extension to catch the power, knowing that you're catching it higher. But then when people come to squat, then they basically just go, oh my God, oh my God, I gotta get under it. And just like throw yeah. themselves under. So what we'll do is we'll go from there into your power, bring it back down and then go into your squat. And we'll just see if we can see the slight difference between. That was a better one. Nice. What are you looking for? So mainly the extension in the feet and then where is contact point of the bar is as well. Where should it be? Where should it be? So it's always all on the legs at all points. So basically when you go from here, a lot of people will go over their knees and then they'll regain it at their hips and basically just hump the bar. So it basically from the floor, it's literally got to stay on at all times. You pull it in, 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 your hips come through, extend and then you go. The idea of, um, there's a lot of cues, right, with when doing the clean. You want the, your shoulders to be over the bar when starting, not over to the point that you're falling forward. You want your bum to be down, but you want your shoulders to stay over the bar. Otherwise, if you sit back, what will happen is people track over the knees. Yeah. If you're here, you're going to be doing this, and you don't want to do that. So you keep your shoulders over the bar. And then another thing since doing weightlifting, hammies is like... I'm really bad at hammy stuff. <laughs> but I literally have it programmed like four times a week in my training session. Because what you want to do is, as you're lifting it off the floor, you almost engage the hammy straight away to keep then you've got your quad and your hammies working at the same time before then going into it. A lot of people just sit and yank and use their arms. So... One tip, I know when you deadlift, you're supposed to look at the floor, but for a clean, keep your head up. Because if you look down, what will happen is you'll shorten your extension point and then you'll catch it here and then you'll go on your toes as well. Thanks. Stick the boobs out. <laughs> Come on, you worked bench for a reason. Stick yeah, it out, yeah? <laughs> Easy. So I normally start closer and then jump them out, yeah? Yeah, so it's not really a jump. It's more of a, like, you get to your extension, yeah. And then as, that was really good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. And you don't want to jump for your extension. You want to hit your extension, and then as you're about to catch, yeah, feet move out. Yeah. Keep it a little bit closer. You ever so slightly bouncing it. Yeah. So just try and keep it as. Almost think about pushing your lats into the bar as it gets over. Yeah. Rather than thinking about, I still do it now, I used to get called macho man because I used to be like that all the time. Yeah. Almost think about, just really think about pushing through the floor so your arms literally don't do anything. You're pushing through the floor, you're waiting as long as you can and then the only part your arms actually do it is a little shrug but even then, you're then getting ready to drop under it. Does that make sense? What would be the biggest mistake you see people do with cleans? When you like just going around gyms, you watch people clean, what's the one thing, you, I bet you're probably watching a lot of people yeah. and you see a lot of things they do wrong. A lot of the time, it's probably bending their arms too soon. Trying to use the just rip, yeah, yeah. Just pull. Like, there's so many people. You'll learn with the snatch as well, right? Especially in the snatch position. If you have your, your elbows should be high at all times. It's a little bit harder with a clean, obviously. But as soon as your elbows drop, you can pull the bar really high. So if you keep your elbows high, the bar shouldn't actually go any higher than basically under your pecs. Yeah. A lot of people just think they've just got to pull it so high and almost to get under it, but it's not. It's you dropping under it. They hinge quite a lot as well. Yeah. It's a lot of hinge and then just throw and go yeah. rather than, again, using your hammies. Like if you ask CrossFitters, do you feel your hammies are doing a clean? They're like, no, are we supposed to? <laughs> I'm glad you said that. It's much more credible coming from you than me, but so many people will try and just like rip it up with their yeah, arms. Yeah, literally. And like CrossFitters in yeah. particular. And it's like, it's not a... Yeah. yeah, like you could. It's not. Yeah, yeah. You could probably clean so much more if you do just oh, like yeah. use your legs. Like at the end of the day, you've got strong enough legs. On the next one, think about just driving through the floor, waiting as long as you can with your arms, and then literally it's just a pop and catch. You be here now. Yeah. One rep max. Let's go. <laughs> nice gas. 
because that would look really snappy. At what is there a point you want, like where gas, the, the ideal place the bar should be when you really want to get that snap in? Do you think some people snap too early or too late? Is yeah, that like so a, it's literally me. It's basically just making sure you don't bounce that too soon, yeah? yeah. So plus the fact if you bounce, the bar's gonna come away from you, go forward. You literally just wanna keep it as long as you can up until that hip crease. As yeah. soon as it gets into the hip crease, then that's you can- That's when you do, explode Yeah, out. that's when you explode, yeah, yeah. Big drive through that floor now. Whoa. Solid. That was a really good one. So what we're doing is now, um, Gassy looks like he's moving the bar really quick, so we're gonna measure his bar speed. If you're moving it, like light loaded power, you're looking at going up to 1.5 meters per second. Heavy loaded power, we're looking around that one meter per second mark. So we just wanna see roughly where Gassy is. So we're gonna record it. He's got the feedback right in front of him. We've got the VBT unit on the bar. Just wanna see how quick he's moving that bar. If he's moving it really quick, like 1.5, 1.4, we know he can go heavier. Oh, fuck. Two meters! Two meters, you powerful bastard! <laughs> oh yeah, see, it's flying! Oh, Gassy, you're powerful. Power! Power! <laughs> I even got some deep heat in here. <laughs> what do you want on? Tens, is it? What do you want? What do you want, machine? What should you go for? 90? Did you go 70 to 90? No. What did, what did you say no to? The fact that he was going to jump up 20 kilograms. <laughs> is he being a typical alpha male, is he? Yeah. Trying to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if you went up 20k, your first instinct would probably be to rip it off the floor. That's you're like, why my back's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's <laughs> what I would Because you're like, oh, extra <laughs> yeah. 20 kilograms now. Yeah, yeah come on. Yeah. You're loving this now, aren't you? <laughs> I, I've got proper FOMO not doing this now. I said to Josh, my back would definitely go, but I want to be young again and clean. I'm like, I can't do it. I'm old. Right, same again, just remember, don't bend your arms too soon, yeah? Wait longer than you think. Flying. So basically, you can see there, light loaded power. You're moving the bar 1.1 meters to 1.5 meters per second. That's about 40 to 60% of your 1RM. Now, Gassy is on two meters per second. So even if we double that, so say that's the, 50% range of 1RM. Gas is way above that, that range even. So it kind of shows that if you married up the technique with his strength and power abilities, he's probably leaning towards a, a 180 clean once you're, you're technically very proficient. But obviously we're not gonna go get to that point because you've got to learn it. But it just shows, yeah, the bar is moving way above what it should be, which is good. But just, you can see how people clean a lot of weight once they get their technique dialed in. So Gas is moving this as if it's like a, almost like a jump squat or something, you know, which is really impressive off the floor. Yeah, I think that's like another reason why we just kind of sometimes program some other power exercises because as you can see, there's a lot of technique that goes into this. So there's a lot of steps that we have to coach through to someone to efficiently get them to get power out of this exercise. So what that can be sometimes. So sometimes some light loaded squats, things like that, body weight squats, rebounds, things like that are much better alternatives and easier to coach um, than some of these more complex exercises, even though they are fun. I still think you could relax your arms a little bit longer. So you're relaxing them here, but then as soon as it's getting over the knee, you're starting to bend, yeah? They should still be relaxed. It's basically just giving you more time to just float and then get under it, relying. Otherwise, if you start using it, it'll just, like you said, it'll just feel heavier, and then you're having to extend whilst holding the weight. Elite athlete, elite athlete, what do you eat this morning? You don't want it. You don't want it. Come on, you, tell me. You don't want to know. Go on. A banana. That's it. Is that is that what you what you normally eat? No, I'm I'm really. All right, bad. if you're competing, so you, you know you've got a proper sesh coming or you're competing, what would you have for brekkie? So obviously I'm in the 55 kilogram category, so I've got to be below 55 or 55 on the dot. So do you count cows then? Um, no. Do you know no. what roughly should be a day or not? Uh, probably about 2,000 cows a day. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like. I don't get close to that. Like, I'm not really a breakfast person. Like, I can wake up, have a banana, and then, like, round about 10 o'clock, then I can have something more, like... You're just not hungry in the morning. Yeah, just yeah. not. But then obviously, the other week when I did British Champs, I had to cut, so I was, like, 57, and I had to cut down. So then, obviously, I was trying to up my protein intake, especially in the morning, and it's just, yeah, it's hard. What, 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 am I what would be your go-to meals, then? Like, not, not, like, I know you eat, like, we all eat, like, 20 different meals, but if you were, like... What's your favourite meal to eat post training? Uh, I like any. I like quite like a pasta dish. To be fair. But, oh, uh, so yeah, same as us. All your banker stuff. Yeah. Right. What's up, then? 
Does that upset you like a, your bank or supplements? Uh, I've started at the minute taking like omega-3, yeah. the defense ones from PAS, yeah. um, ashwagandha, stuff like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm not really a creatine person. I know. Why is that? That's a surprise, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. This is going to be awful. Yeah, no, 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 no. Everyone's going to be like, she's an athlete. No, she's not. Um, Have you tried it and not felt the benefits, you mean? Or? I, I tried it for a couple of weeks. I'm just really bad with like taking things. Like, and because I'm not like every day, I won't always have like a protein shake. Like if, if you like, for example, after training, every time you have a protein shake and it you was, know you're going to have it and it's going to have your creatine. That's in. why I think creatine needs to be in whey. So if yeah. it was mixed in whey, when you have your protein shake, you, you get your five. It, I yeah. miss my five grams all the time because I think, oh, I've got to make a separate smoothie or yeah, I forget. Yeah. I love to put it in the whey. Like a morning electrolytes. Yes. Have my creatine all in one. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> by magic. <laughs> as if by magic. Hey, Cassie, have you had one of these yet? So they've got, per sachet, five grams of creatine per sachet and all the electrolytes you need. Do you, know, you know electrolytes like the buzz thing at the minute, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, salts in the morning and they put five grams of creatine I know, in. I know, I want well, later. Actually. I bought a few in, yeah. Fucking hell, guys. I'm gonna get faster, mate. <laughs> so when you're when you're starting now, when I say about pushing through the floor, just make sure the weight's through the whole of your foot, okay? As you're pushing it. Think about just catching in a solid base, yeah? <laughs> floor, good set, set position. See how your arm's bending already? So that's, the, you, that's your main indicator that obviously you're just ripping it a bit too soon. But the bar path is actually on your quad at all times and then you actually hit that extension as well that's that's, that's nice <laughs> sorry i pressed start right as you lifted the floor <laughs> through your feet you're not ripping the bar off the floor okay use all that power through your legs <laughs> make sure you're looking up you've like changed your head position now yeah don't change anything, keep everything the same. Better, that was better. Do you want some, do you want some music on to like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Do you want me to like slap you about there? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Gassy. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's solid! Can't be catching like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait there, is that 110? Oh, you're gonna have to oh. <laughs> That's a lot. You know that, don't you? Do you know what, right? If anything happens now, this is not to do with me, all right? <laughs> Jumps that you do in weightlifting is like three, four kilograms normally. Like that's normally what I do in comps. Like three, four kilograms is like my max jump, unless it's like you're trying to get like a gold medal and you've got to jump like six, seven kilograms. But like, you do you. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you, well done. That's a good decision. You're like pulling it way high enough. Oh, you see, that you just is need, high enough. You just need to drop. Is that the one you dropped? This one you bailed yeah. out? See, look at that, go back yeah, again. Just... Look how high you're pulling that. You don't, you, you don't. Pull, you're pulling high enough. It's just, if you were front squatting now, in your like 150s, you'd be so comfortable yeah. just catching that. Because you're, you know I mean? you're used to catching it like this. Like, look how high you're catching that, yeah? All you've got to realise is the heavier it gets, you don't have to pull as high, you just have to drop under it a little bit more, yeah? So pull it just it. means you may be catching it that little bit lower, that's yeah. all. So you just got to drop now, you pulled it high enough. Extension. Yeah. Triple extension, if your elbows are nice and high, it literally should be. If you can't keep your elbows up anymore, that's the highest it can go. And then as soon as your elbows drop, that's your catching under it. Easy, easy. Saw that straight away. That was a great lift. Are you going up? <laughs> your nervous system is at a fucking Leaving it like that? Yeah.
Big thanks to Madeline for popping in. I think you can see just having some really good coaching and working on that technical side of your lifts, you can definitely achieve new PBs. It's not like a macho lift. If you get those that technical bit right, you can get your lifts much, much better. If you want to find out more about Madeline, just head over to Instagram, Madeline Connolly 2 Got it. <laughs> on, uh, on Instagram, you can follow her there. She's got some brilliant content, loads of competitions coming up, so keep an eye on Madeline. She is going to be a big name in this game. See you soon.